Believe it or not, the Obama administration is itself, and by proxy through its apologists, taking credit for the current low price of gasoline. Further proof is if any is needed, the Democrats will say anything if they think they can get away with it. Low oil prices are, of course, causing considerable pain here in East Texas, but millions of Americans elsewhere in the country are benefiting. If those motorists want to send a thank you note, they shouldn't send it to the White House. Three forces have acted to reduce the price of a barrel of oil. First is the American oil and gas industry. Risking their own money, American oil producers perfected an extraction technique called hydraulic fracturing, or fracking. The method has made possible the production of millions of barrels of once unrecoverable oil. The second factor is a slowdown in the once red-hot economies of India and China. China in particular is a huge consumer of imported oil, and a marginal drop in demand from that nation has an outsized impact on the market price for a barrel. Finally, the third factor is Saudi Arabia. The Saudis are playing a long game that entails holding on to their market share. Oil from North America threatens that strategy, so the Saudis are keeping production levels up in the face of slackening demand, knowing that they, the Saudis, with lower production costs, can outlast North American producers. For these reasons, and these reasons alone, gasoline is now $2 a gallon. Obama has exactly nothing to do with it. Anyone who says otherwise is either misinformed or deliberately lying. That's my word. What's yours? Go to youtellmetexas.com and you tell me. And follow me on Twitter at Paul Gleiser.